Hi, boy and girl choir. Nice to see you again this week. Let's start as we always do with our chorister's prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Bless, O Lord, as thy servants who minister in thy temple. Grant that what we sing with our lips, we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts, we may show forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So make sure you're standing nice and tall and we'll do our warm-ups uh, together. Let's start with just some breathing to get us going. So we'll take a deep breath, filling with air together, and we'll push out on s for 10 counts. Here we go. S off. Let's go for 12. Again, check your posture. Make sure you're standing up. 12 counts. Here we are. Fill with air. S off. You can imagine that you're one of those puppets, the marionettes that have a string coming out of the top of their head. And as, imagine as if you've got that same string and someone's pulling it up so that your spine is nice and long. 14 counts. S And let's do one more. We'll go for 16 counts. Shoulders back, chest is up. Don't deflate as we go along. Stay standing tall. 16 counts. And off. Well done. Let's move on and let's sing right here, please. Uh, sing. to start up high with that. Again, check your posture before we continue. We're going to go nice and slowly on these next ones. Make that highest note that we sing nice and full. We'll start here and we're singing. Here we go together. Make the top note full. Make the top note your strongest one. E Change it to new this time. Open to na. Drop that jaw. Na top note full. Na One, fill with air. Each of these exercises that we're doing, I'm asking you to make that top note full because we've got some work in one of our anthems that coming up where we have a phrase and we want our high note to be the fullest. So if we practice now, then we've got those skills for when we need them in the anthem. Let's do one last warm up before we get to our work. Uh, start here. Hallelujah. Here we go. Hallelujah. 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 Make the top full. Hallelujah. 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 Take a good breath. Let's move on to our anthems. We're going to start with that Natalie Sleeth 
piece, the Praise the Lord, uh, that's from our Sunday songbook. And we've sung some other favorites from uh, Sunday songbook. We've got the, uh, we've got Light One Candle that's in that book. And we've also got the Holy Book that's one of our favorites from there. So today on Praise the Lord with the Sound of Trumpet, we've been working slowly the last two weeks to get those words. Today we're going to speed it up. So it changes how you breathe a little bit. You have to sing long phrases, which is why we did some practice like that. So in one breath, you do praise the Lord with the sound of trumpet, praise the Lord with a harp and lute, praise the Lord with a gentle sounding flute. So two phrases together and then one breath. So take a good breath each time. Here we go from the beginning. from last week that each time we're doing two little phrases together taking a breath as you go on you find you get a little more out of breath make sure you take that time for a good breath let's do the second verse second verse praise the lord with a crashing cymbal ready here we go praise the lord with a crashing cymbal praise the lord with a pipe and string praise the lord with a joyful song to sing So faster is a little harder with those words. This is one, as I said last week, that I recommend that you don't try to sing it memorized. Look at each phrase as you go by. You, as it, you come to it, you can look down and grab a whole bunch of words at once, but make sure you know where you are because there's a lot of words in this piece. Let's put that one away and let's look at You Renew My Soul. This is this one uh, that we've been working on the past couple of weeks. One week we worked on uh, those choruses. The next week we worked on the verses. Today we're going to put it all together. Pay attention to those dynamics. We've got some mezzo piano. It's soft, but make sure it's focused. We want to be singing soft on purpose, not just soft, meaning we're sort of not giving it a lot of effort. So this is You Renew My Soul. We'll go all the way through the piece. <laughs>
try to do those refrains from memory. Lord, your goodness and mercy will be with me every day of my life, and I will live with you forever, forever and ever. From memory. So challenge yourself. If you're working on this piece and if you go back more than once to sing over it, see if you can get each of those refrains uh, from memory. We get to do it three times during the piece and I bet you can do it uh, from memory at this point. Let's look at a new piece today. It's called Oh Come With Body and Mind. So it's got words that are by a very famous choir director called Helen Kemp and her words, Oh Come With Body and Mind, O oh, come with spirit and voice, bring the whole person, bring the whole person, come let's sing and rejoice. So these are very famous words that she wrote. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. I'll play the intro and we'll do it in, in little chunks through the piece. That's that skill that we were working on in our warm-ups, making that highest note full, the bring the whole person, bring the whole person. It's hard to do. One thing that you can do that will help is when you go for that high note, give it a little more air, sort of push a little more air through that. Just try it right there. This is page number three, top line, last measure right on bring the whole person. We're bringing the whole person. Here we go. And bring the whole person, bring the whole Listen, come, let's sing and rejoice. Let's go back from the beginning. So when you get to that spot, give it a little extra air. Beginning. Oh, come with body and mind. Oh, come with spirit and voice. Bring the whole person, bring the whole person. Come, let's sing and rejoice. Oh, come with body and mind. those high notes. Bring the whole person, bring the whole person, come let's sing and rejoice. So that second time, did you notice the ending is a little bit different? This is uh, page four, second line, right at the beginning of the second line, the come let's sing and rejoice. Sing that together. Come let's sing and rejoice. Now go back to page three and look on that second line, starting in the second measure, the come, let's sing and rejoice. So there it only goes up to the B and the second time it goes up to that C. Let's sing uh, page four. Let's go from the top line, bring the whole person and do that second ending, the one that jumps up to the C instead of the B. Page four, top line, second measure, bring the whole person. Here we are. Bring the whole person, bring the whole person, come let's sing and rejoice. Excellent. Skip over now to page six. We get to do that chorus those two times, one where it goes to the B, one where it goes to the C. We get to do this again, but this time the accompaniment doesn't help you. It doesn't play your part with you, so you've got to be checking your notes there. We're singing part one, the top part here. Oh, come with body. So it's the last note on page five, the pick up to page six, but the accompaniment's not helping you. Gotta be independent. Oh, come, here we go. Oh, come with body and mind. Oh, come with spirit and voice. Bring the whole person, bring the whole person. Come, let's sing and rejoice. So that's 
that's hard right there. The come, let's sing and rejoice. Listen to it once with the accompaniment. The come, let's sing and rejoice. So it has those notes that feel like they're fighting you a little bit. Let's start right there. Top of seven. Right on it. Come, let's sing. Here we go. And we'll go on. Come, let's sing and rejoice. Oh, come with body and mind. Oh, come with spirit and voice. Bring the whole person. Bring the whole person. Come, let's sing and rejoice. And then there's an ending which we'll work on in just a minute. Let's skip back and do the verse. This is page number five. So we've, we have a repeat, and on that second ending, the come give yourself to the Lord our God. Let's start right there. Come give yourself. It goes up the scale, so it's an easy one to practice your, your music reading. Come give yourself. Come give yourself to the Lord our God. Come with your anthems of peace. Do that for me one more time. Again, make those high notes your fullest. So use your breath to do that. Come give yourself. Come give yourself to the Lord our God. Come with your anthems of peace. Come give your best to the Lord our God. Let us self not all our days. Do that verse one more time. Come give yourself to the Lord our God. Crescendoing as you go up the scale. Page five, second ending. Come give yourself to the Lord our God. Come with your anthems of peace. Come give your best to the Lord our God. Let us serve God all our days. Let's go on. Oh, come with body and mind. Oh, come with spirit and voice. Bring the whole person. Bring the whole person. So at that ending there, make sure you grab a big breath before we go on to page nine. You have to hold it all the way to the end. Let's go just do that ending. So if you're sitting down, go ahead and stand up. And if you're already standing up, check that you're standing tall for this. This is page eight, right on the bottom line, second measure, body and mind. Here we go. Body and mind, spirit and voice, it takes the whole person to see. Well done. Thanks for joining me today. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.